Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is Jeff Whatever. It's 2012 here, and I am going to do an airport update on Toronto Pearson International Airport. I um, did get a new mat, or my brother got a new mat. Surprise, surprise. It is the the big airport diorama mat, or whatever you want to call it. Um, that Gemini Jet 13 has, and Gemini Jet 5. Um, so yeah, I gotta get ready to this airport update. Don't wanna make it too long. Um, so that'll be Terminal 2. Terminal 1 and 3 is that terminal. But, um, my brother will be ordering the, um, Gemini old terminal, but old Gemini terminal. Um, so I'm gonna explain how this is gonna work. Me and my brother are gonna share this airport. My mat, my other old, like, or the new mat, whatever, Gemini just mat. Um, we'll be going to Mill House for Fort Lauderdale Airport. Um, my brother's not doing London Heathrow anymore. He's doing Chicago O'Hare. So that's different. Um, whatever. Um, the cargo center is on order. It should be in the mail any day now. So um, let's get started. I'll start here at Terminal 2 at Toronto Pearson. Oh, yeah, and 15 left, 15 right, 33 right, and 33 left. Here we have a US Airways CRJ-700, this one's heading out to uh, Washington Reagan International Airport. Or not internet, whatever you want to call it. Air Transit A3, um, actually that one's going to be heading out to Washington Dulles, not Reagan. Um, here we have a um, Air Transit A330-200, this one's going to be getting fueled up and heading out to Rome, Fichino, Fichino, Fichino whatever you want to call it. Um, been on that flight before. I love it. Um, so yeah. Empty gate. Rest are full. Terminal 2. American Airlines 737-800. This one's heading out to, um, Miami. Came from Los Angeles. Mm. That actually flies a lot to Toronto, like, from Miami, Los Angeles, and Chicago here. Air Jamaica 737-800, this one's heading out to Kingston, Jamaica. This is getting heavily serviced, um, just it's late, arrived late. It's going to head out to Charlottetown PEI. Gate. So that pretty much wraps it up for that terminal. Nice little terminal. Uh, I do have a lot of jetways, so I might, you know, don't need them really, whatever. Bunch of jetways in there. Air Canada Airbus A330 just came came from Gate Alpha 12 over there. This one's heading out to Paris Charles to go. It's a really really nice aircraft. I will for sure be ordering another one of these, but maybe Aero Classics because it happens different colors. But anyways, Air Canada Q oh, sorry not Air Canada uh, United Express Q400. This one's gonna be heading out to um. Wrong with this camera. One second. Where's the camera? Whatever. Sorry about the bad quality. It's my brother's iPad. Air Canada Q4. Oh my gosh. United Express Q400. This is going to be taking a late night flight to uh, Newark. Newark, New Jersey. Sorry. Vehicle. Air Canada 777-300ER. This one's going to go to Frankfurt, Maine. Air Canada 777-200, heading up to London Heathrow. At Gate 14 Gate 15 is a uh, Air Canada 777-200. This one's heading up to um, Melbourne, John Qantas A380 Airport in the BCA. Here we have a Air Canada 767-300ER. Favorite plane right here. Um, Rouge just Air Canada Rouge just received the first seven six seven dash three hundred ER and their first A three one nine. Um, so we'll be buying those planes when any uh, company model company in fourteen hundred scale releases them. I'll be buying two of each. Um, so yeah, Air Canada seven six seven three hundred ER heading out to Santa Di Marco, Chile. I said that right. No, I'm not saying it. That's I think that's. Uh, I'll just say um, Lima, Peru. 
Uh, this is going to the cargo terminal. There's an incoming 747-800. Or 8, sorry, not 800. Cathay Pacific. I need to stock up on Air Canada heavy planes. I will get some more 777-300 ERs. Some more A330s and maybe one more 777-200. That'll be three. And a lot more 767s, even though they're retiring them. Um. Because my uncle does fly the 767, so I do want a lot of them, even when they do retire them. Air Canada, or uh, sorry, Alitalia A3, no, 767-300 year, sorry. Sure, I'm just really tired. This is heading up to Rome Pacino. This is a retired aircraft, so if anybody wants to buy from me, um, I think $30, $25, whatever. Um, Thai 747-400, um, temporary service to Toronto. Fake. Um, I will be. Um, they'll. They. They're gonna be. This is their last flight in the Toronto period, and they're just doing some testing. They were too sat satisfied. Uh, sorry, satisfied with uh, Toronto, so they're gonna pull that. Uh, not pull. It, I don't know. Not come here anymore. Emirates three hundred and eighty. This one's heading out to Dubai. The cargo center is coming. Um, guys, if you have this event, you can use Jenna Jets 13. You should get the cargo center, even though you don't have cargo planes. Just get eyes for more detail, because warehouse and cargo center, warehouse does not, it's not on the airport. Um, we'll be getting the fuel depot stat more de detail. Just to keep getting the fuel off the fuel truck. Uh, FedEx 777 is getting pushed back. Um, about to get pushed back to go to Paris, Charlottesville. Whoa, just almost hit this model. Um, British Airways 747 is This one's heading out to London Heathrow. Let me go around to the domestic side. Over here. This map's amazing, guys. You must get it. Um, uh, British Airways 777-200. Two flights in today. This one's signing up, no, just signed up from Lenny Heathrow, just taking off for Lenny Heathrow. Air Canada Q400, this one's just right from Halifax International Airport. This one will be going to its gate, gate A6, and then it's going to be heading out to Quebec City. Um, here we have a US Airways, not US Airways, um, what am I doing? I feel, I feel like I'm Gemini like Jeff 13. Um, Air Canada A321. I'm just so psyched to have this mad. I can't really think right now. Sorry. Uh, Air Canada A321, heading up to Fort Lauderdale. Empty gate where the Q400 has been pulled into. United A320, this one's heading up to Chicago O'Hare. Yeah, uh, you, uh, oh, I was gonna see US series again. Air Canada Jazz, Sir J200 is heading to Moncton, New Brunswick. So how am I gonna do it, how am I gonna do it, guys? Is Emirates is gonna have that gate, Hawaiian is gonna have that gate. The rest is gonna be Air Canada, slash Star Alliance. Um, all of this here is gonna be Air Canada and United, one United flight. Um, I'm gonna beef up on uh, Air Canada A319. So like one, no, not A319. Sorry, A320s. I'm gonna beef up. I'm not gonna get. I'm gonna get like a couple A319s because I think I'm pretty sure they're all sending A319. Their A319s to um. Air Canada Rouge. Um, so yeah, I just want to sit down and talk for a second because the airport update's done. Um, maybe for a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, Air, Air Canada Rouge, if you don't know about it, it's an airline Air Canada that started. It's sort of like song. I'm not, like, I'm not saying that it's a bad airline because I never flew them and not even started. But um, all airlines, all the like mainline airlines that start divisions, they just go quickly, like, the, I'm expecting maybe Rouge to stay, but it might go and, um, go back to Air Canada, but since Air Canada's ordering their 787s and 777 300ers, they're ordering way more, um, and they're, all of the 767-300 ERs will be going to Air Canada Rouge by, I think, 2014, the end of 2014, or beginning of 2015. All of the 319s will be going to Rouge. So that's like a lot of Air Canada planes gone right there. Um, we'll, Air Canada will be getting 37 787s. 
Um, but I think maybe five of them will be going to Air Canada or Rouge. Um, we are also going to be, might retire our 320s. So they might just sell them or retire them, not give them the Rouge. We might just sell them or retire them. And Air Canada might order Embraer, Embraer 190s like crazy. Um, like a ton of Embraer 190s. We already have a lot of Embraer 190s. I do not like Embraer 190s, so just I hope they keep the A320s. Um, so yeah, um, I bought my uncle there at the 767. I don't know what's going to go on. Um, but just find that thing for now. Um, really great aircraft. I hate how they're going to Rouge, but we well, it's a good thing that I would get the 787 more triple seven three hundred DRs, but. Yeah, so um, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, about WestJet at my airport, I'm gonna be looking for the WestJet 737-700 and in the winglets, which I'm gonna just want in the one without winglets. Um, and another an Air Transit A310. If anyone has it, please tell me. Um, so, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.